morning. Welcome to the Wax Wake Up for Wednesday, April 12th. I'm Christy Matino. Breaking this morning, a massive industrial fire releasing toxic smoke could continue to spread for several days. That fire erupted in Richmond, Indiana. It released toxic fumes and winds have since carried it all the way to Ohio. Video shows large clouds of smoke rising up into the air with the fire burning in buildings below. Firefighters arrived at the facility Tuesday and found a semi-trailer behind one of the buildings in flames. It's not clear yet what caused this fire. Those living within a half mile of the recycling plant fire were forced to evacuate from their homes on Tuesday, and those living outside that radius were asked to shelter in place. This incident has affected 2,000 residents. Also breaking this morning, Senator Tim Scott announced Wednesday he's launching a 2024 exploratory committee in his first step towards running for president. Scott is testing whether to join a Republican presidential field dominated by former President Trump. In a newly released video, Scott made campaign promises such as protecting religious liberty, standing up to China and a choice in education. I know America is a land of opportunity, not a land of oppression. I know it because I've lived it. That's why it pains my soul to see the Biden liberals attacking every rung of the ladder that helped me climb. Scott is scheduled to visit Iowa and New Hampshire. Those are the first two states on the Republican primary calendar before heading to a summit in South Carolina. And Trump says he will never drop out of the 2024 presidential race. The former president sat down with Fox News host Tucker Carlson to discuss his historic indictment. Trump flat out denied that he did anything wrong. And when asked if he was considering dropping out of the race. No, I'd never drop, drop out. No, I'd never drop. It's not my thing. I wouldn't do it. Trump is facing 34 criminal charges after a grand jury indicted him over a 2016 hush money payment scheme. What they're doing is weaponizing the system and there's never been anything like it. And Chicago is set to host the 2024 Democratic National Convention. The Windy City beat out bids from other cities such as New York and Atlanta. The selection comes after several Democratic lawmakers across the Midwest wrote letters to President Joe Biden and DNC officials. Those letters argued that holding the convention in the Midwest would be crucial for Democrats as they aim to keep hold of the White House. Illinois leads several Democratic states in policy, including an assault weapons ban and support for abortion rights which will be at the top of voters' concerns come 2024. The leaders of the DNC, though, don't appear too concerned about the city's high crime rate, which has caused thousands of residents and businesses to flee. Fox Business Network is reporting that Walmart just announced that they've got to close four Chicago stores now. Yep. Yep. A lot of these stores are having problems with theft. The convention will take place in August. It's expected to bring roughly 7,000 delegates and 5,000 visitors to the city. And that's the news on The Wax Wake Up. Be sure to follow us online and on social media so you stay in the know of all those headlines trending in politics.